Hey guys, so if you're like me, you've lived abroad for a number of years, you've probably used your parents' home or a friend's home as your mailing address while you've been away from your home country, and that works for the most part until it no longer does, and that's when you need to start looking into something known as a virtual mailbox. It's a service that I've been using for a couple years, and I want to share with you how it works, what it is, and then give you some honest recommendations about what I use and what I recommend for you. So I like to think of a virtual mailbox as basically your physical mail and email format. The way that a virtual mailbox works is that you are given an address. As a matter of fact, most of the time with most services, you can pick out of a number of different addresses. And when someone sends mail to that address, it automatically gets scanned, just the front of it, and you're given an alert either on your phone or via email on your computer that you have a new piece of mail. So what I can do is I can log in to my, mail, my virtual mailbox and then tell that service to open and scan, to shred to forward to my current location, to delete it, whatever I want to do, I have the option, almost like email, to do what I want. And if I ask them to open it, within 24 hours usually, they will have taken, opened it, and scanned all the pages and given me a PDF of whatever that is. So I can basically keep all of my physical mail in a digital format. Now let's say you're needing to be sent a new credit card. I can just have that sent and then immediately forward it on to whatever location that I am in the world. And you know as a digital nomad that that can be super important because at any point in time you can be in a different location. And you can use any address, let's say a hostel or a hotel where you're staying, to have them forward to you. There's a number of different perks that some of these virtual mailbox services give you. There's some virtual mailboxes that will deposit checks for you. This is more and more common. I know one that offers you a free fast fax number that you can use if you needed to have something faxed in. Traveling Mailbox that I use offers me the ability to mail a letter. I can actually mail out a letter, I can upload a file and have them mail it on my behalf. All of these are great features but not necessarily absolutely necessary for every single one of us and so choose what you think is most important to you. So there are a number of things to consider when you're looking at virtual mailboxes. The first is the location. There are certain services that offer only certain states or provinces where you can have an address. So if you have a specific place that you want to have an address, you're going to have to go with the service that allows that. Another thing is you want to consider how much of a volume you're going to have in terms of mail versus what they allow within the parameters of their scans and then what they would charge you beyond that. Now if you're in the US, I highly recommend traveling Traveling Mailbox. They're the service I've been using. I really like their mobile app. It makes it really easy for me to look on the go, to ask them to open, to scan, to shred, and forward while I'm on my phone anywhere in the world. If you're in the UK, I recommend UK Postbox, which has been a great service for people in the, in the United Kingdom. And finally, if you're in Canada, you should definitely check out eSnail Mailbox, which does the exact same thing for various provinces in Canada. So the bottom line is this, if you're going to be spending more than a year outside of your home country, opening up a virtual mailbox really is a good investment. I've been using it for a few years now and I haven't regretted it. It's helped me with my taxes. It's helped me be able to forward things that are sent in, both packages and mail, to anywhere I am in the world, even while I'm traveling. So if you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments below. I'll do my best to answer those. Also, just so you know, the links in the description are affiliate links, but I offer a number of discounts that might be useful for you as you sign up for these services. Thanks for watching and stay safe.